Um, as with Casper, we'll uh, we'll start with Jason from Talk Talk Sport. There's uh, no embargo on this press conference, and simultaneous translation is available on Zoom only. So, uh, Jason, if you want to start us off, and then we'll return back to the room here at Seagrave. Good morning, Brendan. Uh, Casper Good morning. Revealed that Manchester Airport. Um, I'm not going to ask you about that question. Sorry, he said he was going to say he wasn't, he wasn't a big fan of Manchester Airport. I was going to ask you what your favourite airport was, but let, let's not get into that, shall we? Um, <laughs> How do you approach tomorrow's game then? Nil nil. Casper says you need to score. How do you view it? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. We um, will go with a real positive mentality and look to go and play our game. Obviously, away from home, second leg, it's it's all to play for. So, uh, but for us, it's really important to go and, and be aggressive and 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 keep up this uh, strong mentality that we have at the the moment. And uh, and like I said, we we go with no fear. It's a uh, you know, we, we're used to playing in, in big games in uh, here in our domestic league and we'll go away really looking forward to it. Casper mentioned it also in his final press conference. Now understand, and forgive me if I'm wrong, that you're going to be staying over tomorrow night instead of maybe coming back straight after the game. Does that affect how you prepare for Newcastle on Sunday as well? No, no, it just it helps, I think, with the, the quick turnaround. That was, you know, what we we look at it each game, each European game we we have. I mean, you're looking at travel time, distance, access to airports, all these details. You're you're looking, and it just suits us better for uh, for for the up and coming games to to stay over, have a good rest, good sleep, eat well after the game, and then uh, fly back, and then we can train here uh, on Friday afternoon and and be ready to be ready for Newcastle. I just find one from me. Casper also said he's not thinking too much about his long-term future. Only a, a year or so left on his contract, and maybe it's something that's going to be discussed in the summer. Is that how you would see it as well? Yeah, he's he's been a brilliant servant here, and you see currently now he's uh, he's playing at a really high level. Um, the great influence for the team, playing at the moment with a real good calmness, making important saves. And uh, yeah, he's he's been invaluable for this club over over many years. So um, so yeah, I think it's something that we're relaxed on, and and we'll have a good chat, and uh, I'll get a wee idea of what he's thinking. Thanks. Cheers, Jason. Thank you, Thanks, Jason. We'll go to Charlie <coughs> in the room, BBC East Midlands. Brendan, hiya. Nice oh. to see you. Okay. Um, the through to the the Dutch Cup final this weekend. I know you can't plan for anything like this, but how can that, if in, in any way? to the dynamics of of this game are you expecting them to perhaps go into it with one eye on the weekend no no any football coach manager team it's always about uh, the next game and uh, you cannot worry so much about uh, what you'll do in, in that game it's it's primarily you want to win your next one so um, so I don't think there's any impact at all as mentioned, all of the hotel time how do you nurture the dynamic of um, uh, just that a good dressing room and, and how do you make these these trips where you're going to spend so much time together um, fun and also obviously with the ultimate goal of winning the game in mind but how do you make sure that it ain't for want of a better word boring we're not there on holiday we're there to, to do a job um, but th that culture is always it's already created you know that that's always about good people um, obviously we, we train here today we fly out later we arrive, we'll have a nice meal uh, in the hotel and then the game day is is relaxed but focused uh, on the game and then obviously afterwards you're then preparing for your next game. And uh, But thankfully we have a group of players, they enjoy being with each other. A uh, real great mix in the squad in terms of experience, top class professionals with the young guys that uh, are still learning the trade and still uh, looking to prove a point always. So, uh, so that... That connection is there and uh, yeah, they enjoy being with each other. Just finally, it's an opportunity to take the football club into their first European yeah. semi-final. How much do you relish that opportunity and such big games? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think to be the first to do anything, it's always it's always nice. Uh, we had that feeling with the FA Cup and it is a great feeling. And and of course, we're a club like unlike PSV, who I've read before the last game that they'd qualified for. 48 European competitions on the trot, which is shows you the history that they have in European competition. So for us, we're uh, complete opposite to that, very, very inexperienced. But the only way you do is by 
by achieving. And uh, and this is a great opportunity for us to, to do that. So uh, so we, we are ready to grasp it. The first leg gives us great uh, motivation that we can do that. And uh, like I say, we uh, will we'll fight and do everything we possibly can to, to get to the semi-final. Appreciate your time. Wish Pleasure. Well. Thank you. Go to Kyle from Sky Sports. Hi, Brendan. Um, apologies for being late. We can blame Casper Schmeichel's brilliant interview answers uh, okay. for that one. First question on Casper, all those experienced players, how important will they be in that quarter final? Well, experience is, I think if you watched the game last night, the, the Real Madrid Chelsea game, you, you'd have seen the experience uh, in that in that game itself. So it's it's very, very important. I think that calmness, uh, that reassurance that, that young players will get from seeing our, our experienced players. Um, but of course, the, the younger players, they'll then play also with no fear as well. So you, you always need balance in your team and uh, we've got a real good mix of that. And on some of the younger players, an assistant goal for Kane and Dewsbury Hall. What have you said to him this week to, to keep that momentum going? Yeah, it's on to the next game. I think that he's, um, he's a wonderful demonstration of um, of someone who uh, works very, very hard. And I think he's proof that if you work hard, that opportunities come your way. You know, it's a real joy as a coach and a manager to see a young player that come through the system uh, here over many years and then score his first goal at his home stadium in front of his home supporters that he's dreamt of doing all his life. Um, so, but for him, like we're saying to him, it's a bit, what's very, very important for him is, is to keep proving the point. You know, he needs to find consistency. He's certainly done that since he's come into the team. He's been a revelation for us and he's a young man that's very determined. I think what you have with Kiernan as well is he's got great human qualities. He's, um, his, his humbleness, uh, his vision of where he wants to go is, is very clear and he knows that's just about work. So, um, so yeah, he's uh, it's just staying calm, staying focused and now being a top player is playing and proving yourself every game. You know, you don't play one good game and then drop off and that's the difference with the, the very best players. They're ready for the next game and ready to put the same energy and intensity into the next performance rather than look back and thought how good they were in the last game. And you spoke about PSV's <laughs> European experience. Have you had to talk to the players about what it may be like tomorrow night for them, how they're going to combat the fans who've got plenty of experience in Europe as well? No, not really. I think it's just we'll have a, a meet this morning um, and we'll just talk through some of the scenarios with, within the game and how it can evolve and how it may do. But ultimately, it's also about playing your game. You know, you've got to keep your composure play with that calmness and but play with that emotion at the same time of intensity and uh, and aggression so um so yeah but um, but for us it's uh, it's keeping that composure and, and patience will be important thank you pleasure we'll go to Jordan from Leicester Mercury please <clears throat> hi Brandon okay Jordan um do you have any fresh injury concerns from from the weekend at all no no everyone everyone's fine and is there any update on Jamie? I think you said he was due to have a, another in, injection. Is, have you had time to, to see the effects of that? No, not as of yet, on? no. It, it, uh, that was last night. So uh, so we'll see over the course of the next week how that um, what effect that brings and then hopefully it can be a positive one for us. Um, is this your biggest game of the season? Would it be fair to describe it as that? I think it's a great opportunity for us. I think that you know, I, I never tend to to look at any game more or less in terms of whether they're big or not. For me, every game is a, is a big game. Every game is an opportunity uh, to prove yourself. I think the consequence of this game is you, you have a chance to go to a, a European semi-final. So, uh, so yeah. But every game, I, I never like to look more or less, especially at this stage. It's not a it's not a final yet, but uh, but it's a very very important game. But it's a game that we we're excited about and we really want to go and. Uh, put on a performance for for our supporters and uh, and for ourselves. And you said you were pretty pleased with how the the first leg went. Is is there anything that you're going to tell your team that they need to do differently that they didn't do in, in the first leg? Just take the opportunities. I think that's key. I think there'll be a bit more space for us in the game. Um, PSV 
played deeper than what they would normally play. So I think at home they've shown in the games that they will look to go and attack, and that'll be the, I'm sure the ethos of the, the supporters will want them to do that, which is also good for us because it gives us more space than what we had in, in the first leg. And with that space, we, we know that we can uh, we can create problems for them. So, uh, so yeah, so it's just about playing our game, keeping that composure, keeping the speed in our game. Uh, and like I said, staying calm. And we know we have players that can score goals. OK. We'll return to Zoom now and we'll start with Nick from PA. Hi, good morning, Nick. Good morning. Um, I just wondered um, what you've learned over previous European campaigns that might be able to help you give, and give you the edge tomorrow, um, not necessarily just with Leicester, but obviously with Celtic and, and Liverpool in the past. Just what, what have you been able to take from previous European campaigns that can just hopefully sort of tweak into your favour? I think every every experience is is learned experience when, whenever you play, and especially when you come into to Europe. So, um, but I think it's not to get too caught up with the emotion of the game. Um, we want to play an emotional game, of course, but it's uh, it's a game of football where you f- you can focus on your performance, you know, and that's what we've been doing really. Uh, and then the results normally come from that. So, um, so for us, it's really about playing the game that we have been, you know, looking to be really aggressive in our pressing, making sure we're tight and compact as a team, and and then just then with the ball, you know, we'll be much better with the ball in our in our possession and working our way through, and that's important in European football. You know, you you have to be able to conserve the ball and look after the football. So, um, so that's important, and and thankfully, like I said. You know, I've been involved obviously in European games, but uh, but we've got a number of players as well that have played many international games as well. So the overall experience uh, is there for the team, and uh, and we just got to go and, and and take that experience and and have a positive game. Thanks, Nick. We'll go to Toby from GB News. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Toby. Hi. Uh... It's been a bit of a difficult season for Leicester this season, especially from the Premier League and also the Europa League and now the uh, Conference League. Uh, could, could you say really tomorrow's game could be sort of a silver lining for the Foxes? I think it's a, a fantastic opportunity for us. I think that, I've said before, it has been a challenging season. You know, we, we're not the deepest squad in terms of, of quality. You know, and when we when we lose some of our, our really influential players, then what we've what we've had to do this this season is we've played players that have, that have come in, and and then they're also playing more games, a little bit more fatigue in there. So we haven't had that ability to to move the team around. Um, I think we've seen the weekend's game was a classic example where we have players back. Uh, we put in a really strong performance on on Thursday. The players, when when that we when I have them available, have confidence to to make the changes. You know, we make seven changes, and then we can put in a really really good performance. So, uh, so that has probably been the frustration that the availability of the players hasn't been there, which hasn't allowed us to find consistency in in our results. But certainly over the last couple of months, that's been much better. And now we 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 come to the business part of the season where you have a chance to to finish strong and finish on a high, and that's what we aim to do. So. Uh, so hopefully uh, we, we can take the positive performances into the game tomorrow and uh, and then let's see if we can get to a semi-final. Thank you, Brendan. Good luck tomorrow. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Toby. Any more questions on Zoom? Can't see any hands raised. No? All good.